Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a game where we are going to see quadrupled pawns on e file. This is a scene which can be rarely seen in chess games. With white pieces playing Alexander Alokhin and his opponent is Vladimir Nenarokov. This game was played in 1907 in Moscow and at the time of this game Alokhin was still 15 years old. Now let's see what happened on the board. Alokhin started the game with d4 and d5 by Nenarokov, knight f3 e6, e3 c6, bishop d3 and f5. Nenarokov goes for stonewall formation, a super solid defense which can create too many problems for white. Knight e5, queen f6, a standard square for black queen in this opening. The queen is later is going to support this g pawn to march forward. Knight d2, knight d7 and f4 after which Nenarokov captured on e5. Well instead of knight takes e5 it was better to keep the tension and deliver a check from h4, create a weakness and then play queen h6 and later after completing the development go for a breakthrough with g5. But in the game we see knight takes e5, f takes e5, queen f7, white castles, king side, queen c7, c4, knight h6, b3, bishop d7, a4, white wants to bring his bishop on a3 square, a very standard idea in stonewall defense, bishop e7, c takes d5. Well, instead of c takes d5, it was better first to take control over the c file and only then go for c takes d5, but in the game we see c takes d5 straight away, c takes d5, bishop a3 and we also see the exchange of dark squared bishops on a3 square black castle king side rook a2 white wants to bring his rooks on c file but black is also going to fight for the c file rook c8 queen e2 queen b6 and rook c2 instead of playing rook c2 b4 looks an interesting alternative the idea is that if queen takes b4 then rook b1 followed by rook takes b7 if rook c1 check then simply knight f1. But in the game we see rook c2. And after the exchange of rooks on c2 square, black played rook c8. Bishop d3 and queen b4. Gradually black's position is becoming better and white pieces are placed awkwardly. h3, knight f7, rook b1, rook c3, king h2, a6, queen f1, queen a3, rook d1, Queen b2. Black pieces are getting very active and this is going to be very hard for white to fight back. Queen e2, knight d8. If black can bring his knight on b4 then this can be a huge issue for white. That's why Alokhin decided to kick away the queen from this active square. Queen a3, rook f1, queen b4, bishop b1. White is trying to consolidate his position but of course black's position is preferable. b5 is on the board and g4. In return Alokhin wants to counter attack on the king side but let's see whose attack will be more effective. b takes a4, g takes f5 which allows this deadly bishop b5 move. White is definitely in trouble guys. Knight c4 was played and rook takes b3 is on the board. Right now there are two hanging pieces, f takes e6 was played and d takes c4, queen f3 and black also munched the bishop on b1, rook takes b1, queen takes b1, e7. Right now white is down two pieces and now Alokhin will try to make use of his pawns but will he succeed, knight e6. Black is covering this essential f8 square not allowing a checkmate and now comes d5. Queen g6. Well, instead of queen g6, black could deliver some checks and then win the pawn on e5. And if d takes e6, then queen g5 check and then queen takes e7. It's over, guys. But in the game after d5, we see queen g6. Now comes d takes e6. And we have reached a very unique position where we have quadrupled pawns on e5. Look at this position. Right now, of course, the pawn on e6 is untouchable because of the mating thread. That's why queen e8 was played, queen d5 and h6. Although black could also 
capture on e7 without facing any problems but in the game after queen d5 we see h6 queen c5 Malochin is trying to create some problems for black but black's position is solid and this pawns can't do anything c3 black is starting to make use of his past pawns queen takes c3 after which one of the pawns from the e file is disappearing queen c8 check queen e8 queen c7 and after queen takes e6 finally alexander alochin resigned black is simply a piece up and can easily win the game with his past a pawn and there is not much white can do from this game we can conclude that still at the age of 15 alochin was not a very strong player didn't manage to find a good strategy against stonewall defense, allowed his opponent to seize the initiative on the queen's side and in return tried his luck by going for a very disorganized attack on the king's side. On his way sacrificed two pieces but Black's defense was impregnable and Alochin's quadrupled pawns didn't help him. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game, for more games consider subscribing to my channel, I will see you in the next video.